This video is brought to you by Fallen Dominion Studios. Check out their website at FallenDominionStudios.com. Hey there folks, welcome back to the Dice Odyssey. I'm Kaz, and today we're gonna to be talking about a little expansion upgrade to a very, very popular game, Rising Sun, the monster pack for that game, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is a very, I mean, in a sense, it's a smaller style of expansion. It's not a big box like the I think the Dynasty Invasion is, but uh, it's going to be uh, very simple to talk about. Let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll tell you what you're getting. All right, so number one, you've got this crazy living tree, Jin Minju, I think it's called. And it just looks like a psychotic version of Groot. I mean, you know, within reason. Look at all the crazy heads in the tree. Yeah, you really want to come up on this somewhere out in the wilderness. Um, now I'll be chopping this tree down. But anyway, look how be look how beautiful the sculpt is, though. Wow. And then, ugh, I hate to even hold this. My sister hates spiders, man, and she would be going crazy right now seeing this she wouldn't even want to be near the game because this is in the game but you see it's like a, a beautiful lady in there supposedly <laughs> next thing you know bleh. but yeah very good sculpt either way and that one's called jorogumo and then you've got the fire dragon hey he doesn't have a specialized name just fire dragon and if you look again that sculpt is absolutely amazing very paintable right and the Oni of Plagues. I mean, you kind of have to have like theme music for some of these to come in. Dun, 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 you know, but a uh, beautiful sculpt again. I mean, not much else you can say about them. Absolutely gorgeous. More monsters, always more fun. So for example, Jin Minju, during a recruit mandate, you may summon a figure in this province and lose honor. Okay, so you know, that comes down to uh, you getting extra people on the board. That's cool. Jorogumo, at the start of the battle, take control of one local Bushi or Shinto until the end of the battle. Then, it's like the Fire Dragon counts as three force at the start of this battle. Kill another local figure from each player, including you. Hmm, this guy does not care. He's like the Incredible Hulk. He'll hurt everybody. Uh, Oni of Plagues, players with higher honor than you cannot move figures into this province. That is extraordinarily extraordinarily powerful uh, when it comes down to the type of game you're playing strategically in terms of honor. So awesome, awesome right, little monster. What did I think of it? Uh, ultimately, I love it. Uh, the game itself, I'm loving more and more every day, or I'm beginning to like a lot more, I should say. And adding more to this game is not a bad thing. Is it a must buy for me? Yes, if you love the game or you, I mean, if you really, really like this game a lot and you're finding yourself having a ton of fun with it, then why wouldn't you buy this, right? Because you're just adding more good stuff to what's already a good game. Okay, you're adding more fun stuff. Obviously, the miniatures are still the same top quality as what's coming from this game in CMON anyway. Uh, I do like the special abilities of some of these. For example, the Oni of Plagues. Players with higher honor cannot move into this province. You could truly actually, it's like a protector of your province. Love that power. Very powerful for what it is and depending on your strategy. Uh, Fire Dragon, again, like the Hulk. He just destroys everything around him, possibly even one of your own. So... I'm sorry. I ain't a fan of spiders. Don't know too many people that are. Not a huge fan of Joramugo in terms of the sculpt. Beautiful sculpt. Just don't like spiders, right? But powerful. She can charm you with her women, her feminine wiles, right? And she can take control of a Shinto or a, a Bushi until the end of the battle. That could be a very powerful thing. Adds more, takes away force from somebody, right? And then we have Evil Groot. And he is good as Jin Minju, I think it is. Uh, during a recruit mandate, you may summon a figure in this province and lose honor. Hey, it just gives you extra people, right? And the tree looks disgustingly crazy. It's evil Groot. Uh, and hey, we know how powerful Groot is in battle. So in general, that's the monster pack. There's not much more to say about it. If you're on the fence about it, go get it. If you already have this game and you love it, must buy. 
absolutely must buy. Highly recommend the Monster Pack. Anyway, you have a blessed day and game away.